So today what we're going to go over is how to delete revisions from XMind. Now you may be wondering to yourself, well, why should I even care about this? And the reason being is that when you work in XMind or any other program with revisions for that matter, you quickly build up a lot of revisions. So by periodically going in and deleting some of those revisions, you'll keep your workflow lean and effective. So let's go into the here. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. Now, before you do anything, of course, I'm going to give you the big warning. If you're deleting revisions, that means you can't go back in and see it a previous version of the mind map. So what we always need to do is go into somewhere we have our, our mind mapping and I'm going to copy this, I'm going to paste it, and I'm going to make a copy or a backup of the mind mapping program. Now, size isn't that big of a deal. It is, you know, this one here is about 30 megabytes. I'll just throw it up here quickly. 20 or 23.9. There we go. So it's not really big by today's standards, but if we can get some of these file sizes down a little bit, it makes them a little bit leaner. And I find, and maybe, maybe it's just me, that the open and close a little bit quicker when I've got them a little bit leaner as well. Now, let me give you a tip too, as far as archiving some of these things. I like archiving by date. What that tells me, and I'll put it in just today's date, is that if I look at today to the previous backup, I know that all my revisions will be in there. So worse comes to worse, I, I have to go in and, and check a couple of different files, but otherwise it helps me keep things a little bit leaner. So with one final warning, back up your data because if you, you don't and you need to go back, you're not going to be able to back it up. Let's get in. I'm going to show you how to do this really quick. So from your main screen, it's very simple to get to the revisions. We're going to click on view. We're going to go all the way down to other. Click on other. It should already be highlighted, editing history. We're going to click on editing history, and then we'll see all of our revisions. Now, you, you can't just sort of the rule pilot. You can't left click and highlight everything. That doesn't work. You can't control A. What you can do is you can certainly highlight the first one and then go down to the last one you want to delete and hit the shift button. Hold down the shift button and left click. That'll highlight everything. Or you can just hold down shift control, hit the down arrow, and we can keep cruising on down near the bottom. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to leave about five from the bottom. I've got 82 in here right now. Let's just go up to about 78. I'll hit holding down shift, left click, highlight everything. Now, unfortunately, I can't just hit the delete button and I can't right click and press delete. What I need to do is go over to the, the red X button right here. Clicking on that will delete all of our revisions. So again, make sure you've got everything backed up. Now, just as an aside, you can see just to the left of the X button, it says revert to this revision. So this is the way you click on one of the revisions, you can revert back to a single revision. In our case, because we have several highlighted, it's not going to let us revert back to 72 different versions. Okay, we're going to go in here, hit delete, and it'll come back. Now I've left four revisions, including the current one that we're working on right now. As you can see here too, you can turn revisions on or off. I'd recommend leaving it on. It's just a nice way to, if you ever have to go back, I've never had to go back and look at revisions, but if it's there, if I ever needed to, it would be there. So it's like a one in a million thing, but I'd recommend keeping the box ticked for now. That's it. You're done. Until next time, guys. I'm Kevin Oxner. Take care.